Vladimir Putin is becoming embarrassed and pushed into a corner. And I wonder, Mr. President, what you would say to him if he is considering using chemical or tactical nuclear weapons. Don't. 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 The United States is gearing up for potential conflict, incorporating new missiles, jets, warships, and now lasers into its arsenal. The US Navy is getting ready to respond to any potential threats from Russia. With the addition of the USS Gerald R. Ford, the world's largest and most expensive ship, to the fleet, Russia might be in for a significant surprise. In this episode, we'll explore the latest weapons in the US Navy's arsenal capable of inflicting devastating damage. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Over the years, the United States has encountered significant geopolitical tensions in various regions, including East Asia, Eastern Europe, and the Middle East. Notably, China has consistently increased its military expenditures, outfitting its warships with hypersonic missiles. Simultaneously, North Korea has discreetly armed its ships and submarines with nuclear weapons. Despite these developments, the United States military maintains confidence in its status as the preeminent global military power. In a recent podcast, the well-known astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson revealed an alarming insight. The US Navy has developed military equipment and weapons of unparalleled sophistication that are essentially unstoppable. The reputation of the United States military is synonymous with the development of cutting-edge weapons in the field of warfare. A recent remarkable achievement by the US Navy underscores this legacy as the laser-powered USS Gerald Ford, the lead ship among the country's aircraft carriers, emerges as a symbol of American innovation. Named after President Gerald Ford, a World War II veteran, this naval vessel measures 333 meters in length, making it the world's largest aircraft carrier. With a five-acre flight deck and incorporation of the latest military technologies, the USS Gerald Ford represents a significant investment of $13.3 billion, highlighting the nation's commitment to building the next generation of warships. The journey to bring this colossal vessel to fruition spanned 21 years, marked by challenges and delays that were far from smooth. Despite facing significant setbacks in the past decade, including postponements in deployment and budget overruns in the billions, the USS Gerald Ford is now ready for action. The ship's completion was marred by difficulties arising from the sophisticated equipment it was designed to carry, such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, advanced weapons elevators, and advanced arresting gear. These enhancements, intended to boost efficiency, instead became sources of discord and disagreement among Navy officials, lawmakers, and even former President Donald Trump. Particularly significant, is the ship's role as a deterrent to potential adversaries, notably China, whose increasing military capabilities have raised concerns within the Pentagon. The USS Gerald Ford's five-acre flight deck and state-of-the-art military technologies position it as a formidable force in naval warfare. The completion of extensive training exercises and tests has confirmed the vessel's preparedness for assignment to a combatant commander equipped with reliable onboard systems that ensure effective operation. While the path to completion was arduous, the USS Gerald Ford's official inclusion in the US fleet in May 23rd signifies a major milestone, marking the end of an era where it took six years for a ship to become seaworthy after delivery. Speaking of onboard systems, the USS Gerald Ford not only stands as an impressive addition to the US fleet, but also showcases remarkable capabilities. A key focus for the Navy involves incorporating hypersonic missiles on board, recognizing their strategic importance. Military leaders have prioritized these advanced weapons in the Pentagon's 2024 budget proposal submitted to Congress, seeking a funding allocation of $11 billion specifically for the development and acquisition of hypersonic and long-range missiles. The goal 
is to ensure the safety and security of the United States, a need substantiated by successful tests conducted over the past year. Furthermore, the USS Gerald Ford's towering presence exceeds stories above the waterline and carries an impressive weight of 97,000 tons, marking a substantial increase of 32,000 tons compared to the largest battleships used in World War II. Despite its imposing size, the ship's speed is uncompromised, propelled by two advanced A-1B nuclear reactors. The vessel possesses nearly triple the electrical power generation of America's current supercarriers, reaching a remarkable 300 megawatts. Witnessing its presence on the water is comparable to observing an entire block of New York City gliding past at a rapid 34 miles per hour. However, the introduction of advanced anti-ship missiles by China poses a significant threat that could render the USS Gerald Ford and the entire Pacific Fleet obsolete. These missiles have the capability to maneuver at hypersonic speeds, surpassing Mark V, putting even the most advanced ships at risk. Similar to the tactics employed by Japan with Loy squadrons of attack planes and emerging technology during World War II, these new missiles have the potential to annihilate even the most sophisticated vessels. An alarming report from the Congressional Research Service, last updated in August 2022, expresses concerns about the vulnerability of Navy surface ships in potential combat scenarios against adversaries like China. The report highlights the presence of large numbers of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and advanced anti-ship missiles possessed by these adversaries, intensifying apprehensions about the survivability of Navy ships. While Russia also possesses hypersonic weapons, it is China that primarily raises concerns for the Navy. China has significantly expanded the size of its naval fleet over the past decade, developing various anti-ship weapons, including remarkably maneuverable hypersonic missiles, capable of reaching an astounding Mark 10. China openly acknowledges the purpose of these weapons, intending to deter American ships. In fact, one of China's weapons testing sites, concealed within the Tlaman Desert, contains full-scale replicas of U.S. aircraft carriers used for target practice. This military buildup by China occurs during a critical period for the region, as the nation asserts sovereignty over a vast portion of the South China Sea, which extends thousands of miles from its own shores. However, these territorial claims face significant international dispute, as international law only recognizes claims up to 12 nautical miles from the coast. Jason Lyons, a retired Marine and former CIA officer, elucidates that the security of America's allies in the region hinges on the presence of the U.S. Navy, which ensures the protection of shipping lanes and freedom of navigation. However, this reliance exposes the Pacific Fleet to potential threats from China's anti-ship missiles and drones, leaving it vulnerable without a dependable defense or the capability to mount effective counterattacks. Unfortunately, the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the F-35C Joint Strike Fighter, the fighter aircraft deployed on U.S. aircraft carriers, have limited operational range, often unable to engage targets beyond approximately 700 miles. This not only poses a formidable challenge for the U.S. Navy, but also presents an existential crisis. While advanced vessels like the Ford are equipped with an array of anti-missile defenses, none of them can sufficiently shield the ship in a prolonged battle against China's latest weaponry. To assert dominance in the Pacific and ensure the survivability of its fleet, the Navy is fully embracing a technology that has long remained elusive – lasers. The advantages of laser technology are compelling. Powered by Ford's substantial nuclear reactors, lasers operate at the speed of light effectively neutralizing the threat of hypersonic weapons. They offer quick reload capabilities for repelling drone swarms and eliminate the need for ammunition stockpiles, providing ships with virtually limitless firing capabilities. In a recent revelation by Neil deGrasse Tyson, he highlighted the delicate nature of hypersonic missiles, 
emphasizing minimal margins for error. Any disruption related to temperature, electricity, or optics during flight can lead to malfunction or destruction. Laser technology, by directing a high-powered radiation beam towards a missile, has the potential to penetrate antennas and interfere with the navigation system, disrupting its intended trajectory. While defense contractors have conducted tests with lasers at lower power levels, a reliable laser with sufficient power to effectively counter hypersonic missiles is still several years away from development. Despite this timeline, the Pentagon maintains confidence in the potential of emerging laser technology. This year, the Pentagon made the decision to halt research on two other promising weapons, railguns and special gun-launched guided projectiles, GGPs, initially considered as potential defense mechanisms for the fleet against modern weaponry. With these projects on hold, a pressing question emerges. Can the Navy expedite the development of laser technology quickly enough to counter the threat before it becomes too late? Lockheed Martin's high-energy laser weapon, known as Helios, could offer a potential solution. Extensive research is underway to develop these directed energy weapons, particularly in response to the need for effective countermeasures against hypersonic missiles. The USS Gerald R. Ford is like a big ship that travels with other Navy ships in a group. Some of these ships are specially made for protecting against air attacks. They have strong radars that can find threats like super-fast missiles even from more than 200 miles away. If there's a close encounter, these ships have missiles to defend themselves. The Navy also has a system called Phalanx, which is like a fast-firing gun that can shoot thousands of rounds per minute. Together, this group of ships has enough weapons to stop any threats in the sky. But here's the catch. Once these ships use up their defenses, they become open to attacks and need to get more supplies. While some things can be refilled while at sea, missiles need to be restocked at a port, which can be a problem if the ships are far away. To protect against swarms of drones, the Pentagon has an interesting idea. They want to use something called lasers, which are like super-focused beams of light. These lasers can be created by exciting atoms with electricity and trapping the light between mirrors. When directed at a target, the lasers deliver intense heat. At lower power, lasers can mess up the sensors of drones, and at higher power, they can even burn holes through them. It's like turning energy into ammunition. The lasers on the USS Ford, powered by nuclear reactors, can potentially fire thousands of times at incoming threats. Also, because lasers move at the speed of light, they can quickly track and deal with tricky weapons like China's super-fast DFZF, doing this much better than regular missiles without needing extra adjustments.